Yo, what's up? Hey, man. I was tipping about somebody going to the apartment back um, to the apartment parking lot. Man, it was a young boy. He was scouring and looking through the parking lot. And then he figured out that my goddamn motorcycle was behind my truck and stuff. So I ain't rode my motorcycle for like, I ain't rode my motorcycle for like, I think like four or five days. And then the last couple of days it was raining. So I ain't, I wasn't even riding it. I wasn't even riding it. And then plus I haven't been using it lately. And then Sunday, I was thinking to myself, I'm finna put, I'm finna put my motorcycle in the storage. You know what I'm saying? So yesterday, I found out somebody stole my motorcycle, and my bike. And, um, it's a it's a little ninja bike, little 300 and stuff. It's not no powerful bike or nothing like that. It's just a little bike to um go here and there. Sometimes I be late to work and I'll just go jump on it. You feel me? And then somebody stole the bike, right? So I call the um police. Made the police report. Came, uh, I, I, I had, a, I ain't had no license plate on the bike, so I had to go grab my own um, title of the bike and the VIN number and all that stuff with my, with the documents and a bill of sale with the, with my name and all that stuff. Provide that shit. I think maybe 30 minutes later, the police found the motorcycle. Uh, and they found they, they arrested the person that stole the bike you know what I'm saying so about 30 minutes by the time I made the police report by the time I made the police report it took about 30 to 40 minutes for the police to come right back and say oh we got your motorcycle they told me it was a kid uh, they looked at the surveillance uh, cameras and the thing is the only reason I left my motorcycle in the um the only reason why I left my motorcycle in the uh the parking lot behind my truck is because I didn't believe for a second somebody was crazy enough to go in there and try to take the bike because there's too many cameras in the parking lot. There's cameras all over the parking lot. So like I said, it took about it took about um 30 minutes for the police to find my motorcycle. It was a kid. The kid could have, I think the kid, he told me it was a kid. And the, the police already told me that he, he not going to be in jail too long because he's just a kid. He's like 17, 18 years old. He's not even that, um, he's not even an adult. He's not even 21 yet. You know what I mean? He, he, the most that he's going to get is like a probation. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get some type of probation in Harris County. You know, and the thing that I was tripping about, I like, damn, this young boy was watching this bike. Yo, he, he had nothing. There was nothing in this little boy's mind but that motorcycle. He ain't give a shit about nothing. You see what I'm saying? He ain't give a fuck about nothing. And I just, I just jumped on the YouTube to show you that these young kids, these young adolescents, they don't give a fuck, bro. They just want to they just wanna do whatever they want to please. I don't want to cuss too much because this is YouTube and stuff. So I'm going to fall back with the cussing and cursing, using obscenities. But still, yo, I'm telling you, these kids, they bad as hell. They don't care. You mean, that, yo, that boy, the, even the police was talking to me. The police said the same thing. That little boy didn't give a damn about nothing but that bike. He, he probably was plotting to, for the last couple of days to steal your bike, you know? And he didn't care. He didn't care. He didn't. There was nothing else on his mind except that motorcycle, you know? And there's a lot and there's a lot of stuff going out through the country in America where it's the same situation. These little kids, I covered the uh, um, news about this one boy that killed that, uh, that, that son that graduated in Virginia. That high school graduation, I covered that on the um, Spotify um, for the last couple of days. And stuff. I had to do updates on that story. <laughs> he killed 
the father and the son on the graduation day. Man, this motherfucker looks like he want to run the light. <laughs> so, I just jumped on the YouTube to tell you to be aware of how the summer is going to be. I got my bike back, but I don't know what's the condition of the bike because I didn't go grab it yet. It's still at the damn impound yard or the go or storage yard where the, when they, when they uh, arrested the young kid and stuff like that. So I don't even know the condition of the bike. But even if it's still worse, I'm not going to mess with the bike. Whatever is wrong with it, I'm going to just deal with it. And then I'm going to sell that thing, you know. But, you know, I'm here to tell you guys, all my listeners, especially my Spotify listeners, because I don't have a YouTube family yet. You know, I just started YouTube, so just be aware of the summertime, because these kids are bad, and that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's your man, Ben Farrell, with Thinking Out Loud. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube, and... Go on my box Benji Instagram and underscore murder envy TikTok. I'll holler at y'all boys. I'll holler at y'all ladies later.